All right, guys, I got to get going here. I uh, got to head off to work. But uh, today, this morning was just kind of get everything rearranged. I had two hay wagons to get put away. I got them put away. Uh, the wagon load of hay from my neighbor's back, that crappy hay. Uh, I cleaned the baler out and blew it off real well to uh, start working on that broken piece, uh, that repair. And I took all the drop hoses off, back off the sprayer and put the uh, spray tips back in and hoping... Uh, to get the last little bit of nitrogen out of the tanks and into the sprayer and uh, onto some of the, the hay fields that I have uh, taken the hay off already. So, all right, uh, quick update today, but I gotta get going. All right, guys, a little nighttime spraying here. I uh, got it all done. Uh, you're probably wondering what the heck I'm doing here. Uh, the last, this is the last of the 30% liquid nitrogen. I had a, I don't know, it's over 100 gallons left. Um, it wasn't enough to just put that last 100 or so gallons in the sprayer and go through the corn again. Run more corn down. There wasn't enough to do an entire field, so. I did save what was left here uh, to go on the uh, at least one hay field. This hay field, none of my hay fields got nitrogen this spring uh, due to a late delivery of nitrogen. So now I've got, it's about 20, yeah, a little less than 20 gallons of the acre. I would like to put more on, but for second cutting, um, it's a little bit tougher with second cutting uh, just because the sun's hotter, your days are hotter, you have more of a chance that you can burn the grass with putting nitrogen on this time of year versus the spring. At least I find that. Uh, you gotta be a lot more careful with it this time of year. So what's gonna happen now, I did this at night in the dark. There's dew coming down now uh, and overnight we're supposed to get a little bit of rain. So I'm trying to lessen the chance of any type of burning of the grass. Uh, as possible because it was about 90 today if i would have went out in 90 degree weather and sprayed on nitrogen on the grass now it would have burned burned it to a crisp i i would imagine in the spring you have a less of a chance of that so it's on uh, i got one field done still don't have the baler fixed but uh, we're prepping here for second cutting like to give it 30 days today is the 10th today's the 10th so we'll, we're looking at august 10th to make second cut so all right, so what I have now, sprayer's empty. I'm done slopping around in nitrogen. Uh, I have <coughs> a couple hundred gallon in my nurse tank down there. We're gonna pump that in the sprayer and that'll flush out the rest of the nitrogen. It'll mix with the water. And I have some 2,4-D to go on the other hay fields that I have cut for uh, broadleaf. So worked out that way and uh, should be good to go. So, all right, I'll uh, see you on the next one. 